It helps in digestion, but it cannot be digested. It helps you relieve constipation. It slows down your food so you can absorb better. It prevents a crash after a meal, makes you lose weight all at the same time. It's not a riddle anymore. You click this video, you know what we are talking about. It's fiber. Whole grain flour, wheat bran, broccoli, all of that gives you insoluble fiber, which adds to the bulk of your stool so that it comes off like a beautiful large piece at the end of your toilet session, which means that it helps you relieve constipation. Psyllium husk, oats, barley, apples, oranges, and sweet potato are sources of soluble fiber. It draws water back into your intestines and makes it gooey and slimy like a paste so that it moves slowly in your intestines and allows your intestine to extract all of that nutrition that you want in your body. For example, you've eaten a bowl full of white rice. All of that gets converted into carbohydrates, simple sugars, and all of that sugar once entering into your blood through your intestines will cause an insulin spike. When you have an insulin spike, you know that all of that needs to be stored somewhere. If you have excess of it all at once, it's going to be stored as fat. So that's not a good situation. When you have enough fiber in your food, it slows down, slows down in a way that it continuously provides a stable, consistent flux of glucose in your body. So you can burn all of that sugar in real time without having to store it. If you're a girl, you get uh, 20 to 25 grams of fiber in a day. And if you're a guy, you get 30 to 35 grams per day. So far, it has been very straightforward, but fibers also do something incredible. It goes beyond the digestion and the physical aspects of loosening those stools and helping you relieve constipation. I hope you'd agree with me if I told you that you have a ton of bacteria living in your intestines. This bacteria is really important because they provide us with certain vitamins that are essential to our survival. They also prevent certain infections by providing a physical barrier and a shield. We can consider these friendly bacteria as our pets. And like good owners, we must feed them. The food for this bacteria happens to be fiber. When you eat enough fiber, the bacteria in your intestines will eat all of that fiber and produce something called as short chain fatty acids. Do not worry about the name, but it does two great things for you. It gets into your blood, finds its way into your brain and signals it in such a way that you are tricked into thinking that you're full, even when you're not. That's great if you want to lose weight. It goes to the fat cells. Now, if you took a piece of fat from your body and threw it under a microscope, you'd see balls of cells filled with a lot of fat. They just keep getting bigger if you eat too much. Short chain fatty acids here come into play and tricks these cells into burning what is inside and not getting in more fat into those cells and making it any bigger. I'll end this video here. Like, share and subscribe.